okay so we have studied uh, to handle the, this complex uh, post request now study one more type of post request here so let me go and make a new database and i will write here info advanced okay Yeah, and CD info advanced and let me now start this database control C stop the existing database and use this database that is info and CD info advanced okay the server is started let me check JSON server yes it is started okay and now open the database okay delete this request okay now in this case what we were having in this uh, value we were having one info now suppose this info is of array type okay that is we can have more than info okay how we can achieve this this denotes yeah so how we can achieve this put the braces symbol okay this is the first one okay similarly we define the second one okay a comma here and the email again let's say test at the rate gmail dot com okay comma and phone number is two 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 comma and the address address line line 2 okay so let's save this and uh, copy this into a json tree so let's check if uh, we have created a, a good json that no comma etc are missing and if you go in viewer it's giving me an invalid json so i must have made some mistake so let me check what the mistake it is yeah i have to close okay now let's see yeah now it's fine now if you go under this you will find id title author and under info there will be two infos okay so how we can make a J json object for it so for this it will be nearly same what we have created here okay so let me make a new package and i write in this so that you are not confused classes dot advanced advanced example okay so i will be creating another this so let's start uh, the request which i would be using is this post request complex post okay this and at the rate test public void and the method should be at the rate 9 okay okay so now let's create the classes first so the first class 
first cast will be for this address info okay so let me create info okay so in this info what we have we have this email phone and address as we have done in previously so that is private string email okay private string phone and private string address okay let's create the getter and setter method using the eclipse very nice feature create generate getters and setters yes for all the three ones click on okay okay now it's okay now let's create a post class okay posts so in this post we have four id title author in this info we have info but in this case we have the info array not just an info we have an info array here so how we'll be using this we'll be writing st private string id okay private string title private string author and private string info okay but instead of string uh, we have to use the info of the class so we'll be using info here and also we are using the info array so let's create a getter and setter methods okay just correcting the identification okay and now let's create the getter and methods for the info as well so we will we'll be first creating the getter method that is public info what it will return it return an array of an info get info okay and what it returns it returns info return public void set info okay and what will be passing we will be passing an object for an info and we'll be setting the same that is this dot info is equals to info and save this so this is how we have private classes for this object now write we should write the test case the test case should be that is it will start with given okay so or let's first create this info okay so here we have two infos so we will be making two objects of an info that is info info 1 new info okay we will be writing info dot info one dot set email that is let me write test email one info dot info one dot set phone test phone one info one dot set email test email mail one okay now let's create an another info object info two new info 
ओके इनफो टू डॉट सेट ई मेल टेस्ट ई मेल टू इनफो डॉट इनफो टू डॉट सेट फोन नंबर ओके टेस्ट फोन टू सेट एड्रेस टेस्ट ओके दिस शुड बी दी एड्रेस टेस्ट एड्रेस एड्रेस टू ओके नाउ लेट्स क्रिएट एन ऑब्जेक्ट फॉर दी पोस्ट रिक्वेस्ट ओके सो और लेट मी नेम इट डिफरेंटली आल्सो so uh, it is identified differently from others okay and this info should also be different so it is this this let me import this no oh, it was using the old one okay it's good i updated it okay now the object of post post is equals to new post okay so we will be adding post dot set what we want to set first we want to set the id let's the id be 100 post dot set title let's in title it's be title set author let it be author okay post dot set info and in the info will be giving an array which is of both of these info okay so how will we give we will make a new info object okay new info array okay which have both of these Okay, this info one and info two, and it will be passed in an info array, and info two. So this is how we pass it. It's giving an error. Set info new info. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so we have this is how we have created the class object for it. Now we need to just and give the This is the main thing. We have made the info array. Okay. Now we have to send the request. Okay. So we'll be using given. Okay. When. Okay. And the content type. Content type is JSON. Okay. Whose body? body we are sending in type of post uh, object so we'll be using post okay and we are sending a post request so post request is this one url okay and this is the post okay and take it into a response and print that response okay response dot as string yeah so this is how you work with it you have seen that the size of your test case is increasing and as your api's length increases the object you are creating also increases so now how normally we work we normally get this test data from the excel sheet or something and you can send the api a number of api requests depending upon your test data so we are using the data driven testing for the apis as well so first let's execute this and check it's fine or not 
let me comment the above test save this and now run this oh it gave me an error connection refused uh, let me okay there is some error with the json it's giving an error okay so let me check it was this it should work properly mm, let me update here okay and start the server restart the server first stop this and yeah i think it is started now uh let me check yes and let me run okay so i think it is executed fine let's open our database to verify it yes so a new title is added uh, id is added 100 with all the data which we have given test email 1 test email 2 so this is how you can work with a uh, post objects so only a lim limited java is required and you can start creating your post request okay so that's all uh, with the post request in the next session i will be telling you how we can calculate the api time okay so thank you